So I will speak about the future, the past, the present, and I will mix a little fiction into it. Uh, I will start with a scenario that I would say is slightly, and I will explain when I'm done why. The year is about 2020, and we see a Europe that is under extreme pressure from the refugee crisis forced by the Russian terror bombings in Syria. Uh, <clears throat> Chechnyans out in the Baltics uh, commit terror crimes on gas lines from Russia. Sweden, who has a very poor army, has no means to uh, counter it at all, giving Russia the window of opportunity to speak out and say that Sweden cannot protect the Russian interest. We heard that many times before. Putting together a task force, peacekeepers, who can take Gotland to protect the gas lines passing Holland and Gotland and further into Europe. Sweden, we cannot defend ourselves against Russia since we have no solid partners. <coughs> EU and uh, NATO, of course, they will come with a quick response, but it's two steps. They cannot use force because they don't know what the outcome of it would be. Would it be World War? And European Union being on its knees because of the refugee crisis can only use small economic um, sanctions against Russia. <clears throat> For many of you, it may sound like fiction, something from an action movie. Maybe. For me too, until last week when I went to Sweden for another political conference and I read the newspaper, and it said that we found a small underwater carrier with explosives just outside of Åland, close to the Russian gas pipe. What reason it had, no one knows for now. Maybe it was this scenario that Russia or someone else planned for. And uh, sure, Russian isn't what it used to be. It used to be a, a very great superpower. It's not anymore, but still, for any single country, it's a great threat. We've seen it in Georgia, we've seen it in Ukraine, we've seen it in uh, many countries. So, what can we do? Is there a solution to the Russian aggression? Yes, in some parts of Sweden, we would say that NATO is the solution or the European Union. 